What's up, kids? Well, today I want to do part three of my 1976 talker restoration, but as I started to work on this guy, my pliers broke. I was trying, trying to uh, cut these rivets out of the arms like we always do when we do the muscle body repair kit. And this piece of shit busted. So I just want to give a real quick shout out to China and your shitty inferior steel. I paid like 10 bucks for this damn thing too. So I got to go buy a new one of these um, so I can get this guy apart. I'll do that. I'll shut the video off and I'll get a new set of pliers and I'll just resume the video. But... Just want to point out that Chinese steel really sucks, and uh, California is using a lot of Chinese steel in their civil engineering products right now to cut corners because they're fucking cheap. But that's neither here nor there, so when that big earthquake hits, it's probably going to look like these pliers. Regardless, uh, just a real quick overview. I've got his clothes laid out. I've got the head flaw deflocked. Blah. He's all cleaned off. He's ready to go. I'll do a separate flocking video for him because I got a few other heads I'm going to flock. Got my stuff in from Cotswold. I got a brand new talker string and new talker speaker component. I have some knee foot pegs. Some foot pegs, I guess. I have knee pegs I have, haven't got out yet. I've got a muscle body repair kit. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have knee pegs. So I've got everything laid out how I want to do it now. I will admit, I, I could, like I mentioned early in the video, there's like video one, part one of this. These legs are shot. The rubber in them's super loose. So I'm going to have to do a complete reconstruction or restringing of the legs. I don't even restring them. I just rebuild the legs so they op operate almost like a regular body. I do have a video if you subscribe to my channel or you go through the backlog of my channels on how I do this. I'm not so sure how much detail I'm really going to get into on this video of doing that. I might actually just show you how I take the legs apart first and then reference that video to put these back together. Because the video is really good. It's a slideshow. So there's no me going um or clearing my voice or whatever the, the annoying stuff I probably do I would check that video out for sure if you're looking at doing the lowers on these muscle bodies um, so with all that being said I will uh, get some new jeweler pliers and resume deconstructing this guy and putting him back together now let me grab something well I don't really have it with me I was going to show you what tool I use to pop these pieces here apart I've seen uh, Felipe Monaco of Luca Porga, Luca Porga Bonicas. I'm not sure what his new YouTube channel is he changes his name every so often for some reason but he has a really cool little tool that he takes apart all those falcon bodies. Like the falcon bodies in these are almost identical. It's like crazy. But I watched, <clears throat> excuse me, I watched a few of his videos on how to take these apart like a full body. Like to take a full body apart. And uh, they're really, really good videos. If you haven't checked out any of Felipe's videos, I will link some of those in this video. Um, he's a really, really talented customizer probably one of the best around it's a shame that he's getting out of it but hey man sometimes the game's hard sometimes the game's hard anyway i'll take a break i'll find some new jeweler pliers and i'll try not to break those things so take it easy i'll see you here in a little bit all right guys i'm back um I managed to get me a new set of pliers. 
Not as good as my old ones, but they're pretty good. Needless to say, they do what I need them to do. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the figure kind of broken down a little bit. I've started to do some assembly, and I uh, wanted to go over just a few minor details that I got going on right now with this guy. Um, I went ahead and took the time to assemble uh, one of the arms. Um, first things first, I bought a muscle body repair kit off Cotswold Collectibles. Um, it's pretty easy to do if you've never done it before. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there's a really good tutorial from Felipe from Luca Porbonicas on how to disassemble these uh, muscle body style figures. I'll post that link in one of these videos so you can go to it. Um, basically, you disassemble the rivets and take the old uh, shot rubber out and uh, just rivet new pieces together. It goes right in here in these sockets. And you just basically glue everything back together, and voila, you're left with a nice uh, complete arm that'll fit in the uh, muscle body torso. I also took the time to remove the rivets on the, the foot and take out the old um, rubberized Connect, connecting uh, rods or whatever, I don't know what the hell you even call them, but uh, those were what connected the feet, where the rivets kind of went through, Connect, disconnected all that, and I have took a Cotswold foot peg and uh, fashioned, used a little bit, I used a little bit of styrene to fill the gap, and I used, I used a plastic rivet and made the foot. Um, little known fact, these feet basically pegs will snap right into the legs on the muscle bodies and they're great i also took a vintage gi joe knee grommet or rivet or whatever the heck you want to call them i drilled it out with a 3 16 inch bit so it will slide over slide over the knee peg as so and if I can get this to snap together with one hand there you go and it actually fits nice and tight um, double check your drill bef drilling before you do it these are too difficult you don't want to get it wider and become too loose this is nice and tight in there and another uh, little known fact the vintage style knee peg fits in the leg as well and it's a nice tight fit so i would suggest using vintage style knee grommets or knee pegs the cotswold ones are not wide enough uh, if you do use a cotswold one then you probably need to use some teflon tape to uh, give it a little more girth so it'll stay in the socket but needless to say that leg is built um, and the arms built I still need to go and uh, finish up this portion the what left leg um, now on to the butt area of the figure um, I'm gonna post some videos or not videos I got a really nice uh, set of slides I've posted on how I did this part the string of the, um, the booty portion of this guy. Um, essentially, a second here. essentially, this slides right down in there. I'll take these spacers, you always, oops, sorry about that. Take these spacers, you always wanna save these because if you take this apart, these slide over this portion right here and create a spacer up there for these legs the bulbs on these legs to connect to so you want to save those um, and then I just have these uh, wire crimpers that I use you'll put this spacer 
over this portion, pull the elastic tight, crimp it, similar to what you do on the muscle body neck when you attach it. And uh, you do both sides and then you just snap these legs with the bulbs over it and that's how they connect it. I'm not, it's hard for me to do it because I don't have a cameraman to show you, but the video to, or the slideshow tutorial I have is a really good reference for how to do this. It's really simple and basic to do. Again, I use a, I essentially take this portion here, I cut this portion off, I keep this piece here, and I drill a 3 16 inch hole through this deal here and then I, I run it through the elastic like I did there and then you just put this spacer over it that's what you do um, I'll go ahead and take a break and um, do all this work and get basically the torso reattached and show you what it looks like I also took some time and fixed my I guess cleaned my commander talker it's an it's an older one it's uh it has the original phrases on it so but that's it's all right I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk I'd like to have a newer one but you know this guy's just gonna be my my everyday mess around with take photos throw outfits on kit bash talker so uh, that's what I've got going on right now I've, I've assembled you know a little bit of this to show you guys and now I'm going to move on to basically final assembly of this figure and then we'll do flocking next so I'll see you guys in a few Okay, we're back, and as you can see, I've uh, assembled the body, and here's exactly what I was talking about with the legs. Um, it works really well. Basically, just uh, snap that leg in there, and. Uh, You've got a pretty much complete uh, body now. So, I still have the other leg to do. Um, it's going to take some time. My one-year-old's taking a nap right now, so I'm usually on borrowed time working on these. But regardless, I just wanted to share with you what this uh, whole process looks like. And by the time I'm done, um, it'll be a complete body. Um, he'll work great. Uh, the pull mechanism works great. He sounds great. So all I really have left to do is complete the other leg and flock this guy's head and I'll get him assembled and uh, show you the finished product. I'll do a video on the head flocking next probably. But right now I think we're good to go on the body. I guess just got to drill the peg out and uh, I just got to do this other foot and uh, get this guy back in the fight. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and uh, hit the like and subscri uh, subscribe button. This is uh, part three of my vintage 1976 Talking Commander restoration. So cheers and have a good weekend.